So here we are at Dollar Store. We're going to go in and work on our first aid kit and see just how inexpensively we can do the first aid kit that the government suggests we have in case of emergency off-grid situation. We've recently been reminded of how important things like this are because of the hurricane that just went through Florida. Let's go in and see what we got. All right, I'm sure we will find several things on our list here. The state thinks we should have in our emergency medical kit. Just... Okay, all shoestring back. We have returned from the dollar store for our first aid kit. And we're using the Florida Department of Emergency Management Disaster Supply Kit Checklist. All we're doing today is the first aid section. Wanted to show you how inexpensively and easy it is to set one of these up. So all we did is go to the dollar store and see all that we could get. So the one exception is the first aid manual. We do have a first aid manual. It is from uh, Emergency Physicians. It's a pretty good one. We did not get this at the dollar store, though. So I want to make sure we point out right off, we have a first aid book. You want one? Trust me, you do. Well, unless you have a doctor at home or a paramedic or something like that. But generally, having a book like this is a great, great idea. So find a good one and pick it up. Obviously, pages folded out. I do go through it, try to make sure we're ready. Okay, so we're going to go down the list and see what we have. All right. First aid, first aid manual. We discussed that already. Oh, Mrs. Shoestring said to point out, you can go to the store and pick up inexpensive, all-purpose first aid kits like this one that we keep in cars. But if you look on the back, normally these don't have everything, and they're generally a little bit more expensive than if you get it yourself. It's up to you, though. You want to have something. Okay, so now that we said that, first they talk about sterile bandages and gauze and different types of tape. First several items are bandages. So we went and got there some tape, cloth tape to use with the bandages, different types of bandages. This is gauze pads. They're all sterile. This is O2 rolls, and they're sterile. You want to make sure you have something like this. Consider how many people you have in the house, the type of emergencies you might have, and then get the appropriate bandages for you. We pick that up because that's about right for the new kit we're creating. Okay? So, after that is scissors and tweezers. We picked up a very small thing of Scissors, it says it for kids, but it easily cuts the bandages and tape that we want it to do. And of course, anyone can use it. All right, next are the tweezers right here. They were also about a dollar. Inexpensive ones right there. Then after that on the list, we'll notice that there was sewing needles, which is right here. Also, moistened towelettes. We got a couple this one here, and then a small one that says specifically for your hands, because you re never really know. Then we have antiseptic that's on the list. We got this right here, which is just alcohol. Antiseptic wipes, a small one right there. Hand sanitizer, which is right here, also a small one. A thermometer, small inexpensive one but all this needed. It said a tube of petroleum jelly. They didn't have any tubes. So we got a small little jar just like that. I guess that's a jar. I'll call it a jar. If someone knows the real name of these things, go ahead and put it in the comments for me. Okay. Then they want safety pins, which of course is right here. And soap. Little thing of soap. Latex gloves. We picked up these latex gloves. Uh, they were the least expensive. They also say one size fits all 
according to this. Uh, if you got big or little hands, you may want to consider actually getting extra large or extra small. Up to you who's in your family. Sunscreen says right here, we got that. We also got some bug repellent. If you can keep from getting bit, that's also extremely good. All right, next on the list is aspirin or other pain reliever, anti-diarrhea, and antacid medicine, and some laxatives. And emergencies that will always come in handy. You don't know what you're eating or you don't know what you might be drinking. So, small little pain reliever right there. Anti-diarrhea. Antacid tablets. Easy to use on the go. And, of course, the laxatives. Next is cotton balls and Q-tips. So, here are the cotton balls we got. Here are the Q-tips. Like I said, these are going to go in a go bag. Maybe toss it in one of the cars. Uh, or one of the outlying locations we want to set it up. It will be in a small container. Uh, then you add things that aren't on the list that you may want. For instance, everything going on, we got some face mask. Might be helpful. Uh, these are just general use masks, right? They're not made for healthcare professionals, but you never know when a mask might come in handy. And then you can set this up in your house any way you want to. Pick up more items. This just came straight off the list, and we made a small amount. We also picked up a small container right here. Show it to you. This is what we're going to be putting these items in. We will label it with the date. Also, what we do is we have also these. This is a small pencil kit. The case right here. They're not a part of the first aid kit, but they are health items. And shampoo, more soap, toothpaste with a toothbrush. Just little personal health items. Uh, they've come in real handy when we've been on trips. Something you may want to consider. They're easy to open, easy to close. That's a quick examination of just the first aid part. We're considering doing other videos on what you can do inexpensively on a shoestring for like your 72-hour emergency kit, like several states and the Fed, federal government, FEMA says you should have. If you think this would be a good idea and you like that, put, please, please say so in the comments so we know. If you have any questions over what we've just done here, or if you have suggestions of your own that could help folks, please toss it out there. This is a one trip, about an hour at the dollar store, inexpensively, and you can have exactly the first aid kit that, does that, that the disaster supply kit checklist for the Florida Department of Emergency Management says you should have. Okay, remember, if you like these type of videos, please subscribe and like and share it with someone. Hit that little notification bell and shoestring out.